Hello guys, in this video you will see how to apply filter on some charts in Google Locker Studio. So let's get started. As you can see in front of us we have this little, little report called sales report. And this report contains those two charts. One down chart and one bar chart. We can see that first chart represents sales per region and second one quantity per region. So now let's see our data source. It's this Google Sheet here and we can see that we have some values here. For example, we have region, south, west and so on. It's this region west, south and so on. And some values representing those, those regions. In this case it's total sales and in this region it, it's quantity. So let's see this is total sales, so basically we are summing all those uh, sales values for each region and also quantities for, for each region. Basically we are summarizing all values here, but let's say if we would like to see only, for example, only a corporate segment. So let's see, we don't want to see this consumer and home office and so on, only corporate segment. So how can we do that? Now we can go to this chart and then we need to apply filter. I'm gonna remove this one here, I don't need it. Let's see if we have some filter here. No, that's it. So let's go to setup and then there is filter option here. We're gonna click on this button add the filter. We have some filter country filter available, but we are not going to be using this one. We need to create a new filter. When we click on that, we have this, this uh, box here and in first line we need to provide name of that filter. Our name will be, uh, let's see how it's called, let's say segment filter. After we provide name, we can see that it is the, our data source and now we have some options to choose. We can uh, choose include or exclude. So for example, if this value meets some condition, it will be included or excluded. We need to include those values for now. And now we need to choose field uh, on which we will apply our filter. In this case, it will be this segment field. When we say field, it's basically our column segment here. So, after we click on that, we need to create a condition. We have some options here. We have, for example, if it if our value contains some some letters and so on. But in this case, we will be using equal to, so exact match basically. And let's see how it's called. It's called corporate, and we're gonna be typing corporate here. And in our case, it is enough for this filter. This is the only value that we need. And we are going to click on this save button here. So let's click on save. And now it should be applied. Let's see. Yes, those are different values. So we can we can see that, that, that uh, our filter is applied. But uh, maybe it will be more clear on this one here because we see those values uh, that we have for example the biggest value is 12.5 thousand and now when we apply the same filter here it, it is this one segment filter let's see what is the biggest number it's between 4 and 3k so basically our filter is working and we apply that on on both of our charts also i'm gonna give you Another example of filter, let's remove this one here and I'm gonna remove this segment filter here in this in this chart. So we need now to let's say to see our data source and let's check let's check for example for quantity. For example, we we would like to see only values if quantity is bigger than five, let's say five, yes. So Let's create another filter, we go to setup, then 
filter option add a filter and we will create another one and then we will include values let's choose our quantity, quantity column mm, it's this one here and now we have also one other condition in this case because it is numeric value we will have some other options for example equal to between greater than less than or equal to and so on because we are comparing those values and it's not uh, string values anymore it's not text values anymore so uh, in this case I'm gonna be using uh, if quantity is greater than actually it's greater than or equal to 5 we said 5 and it will be our condition let's click on save and when we do that if I see correctly values are properly filtered but let's see on this second chart here because it's easier to see I'm gonna also apply when I go to setup and then to add a filter now we have our quantity filter and let's apply it on this one and let's see yes it, it is basically applied on our on our uh, chart so those are the most important things uh, first we need to filter uh, values based on some text and secondly we would like to apply some some numeric conditions and so on i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you in the next videos